close your eyes and be sensitive to the breath. When it comes in, where do you feel it coming in? Where is the energy moving in the body? Because when we speak of breath, that's the main thing we're talking about. Not so much the air coming in and out through the nose, but the movement of energy in the body that allows the air to come in, allows it to go out. It's part of the wind property in the body. And how does it feel right now? You want to be alert to what's going on in the body right now. Because so often that gets blanked out, pushed off to the side, so that you can think about other things. But your relationship to the body is very central to your being here as a human being. And you want to make sure that the relationship is good. So you listen to the body's needs. What does it need in terms of the breath right now? Because of the different elements in the body, the breath is the easiest to adjust. And it's what takes care of all the other elements. It's also the spot where the mind and the body meet. When you give the body good breathing, the body becomes a good place for the mind to stay. And this improves the relationship. You want a steady relationship here. You don't want to go off and have other affairs. You want to stay right here. Be loyal to the body. And then the body will be able to provide you with a place where you can settle in and, and then watch the mind in and of itself. Because when the relationship is good, then you can have more time for yourself. And particularly to understand what the mind is doing. It wants happiness, but then it does things that create suffering. When does it do that? How does it do that? Why? You want to watch for that. And this is a place to watch, right here in the present moment, right where the mind and the body meet. So the body is your anchor to make sure that you don't go drifting off into other thought worlds. You have to stay out of the thought worlds if you want to see them clearly. If you're in the thought world, your emotions, your ideas are colored by the thoughts. But when you can stand outside, you begin to see it. there are these steps in the process. This is how it happens, step by step by step. And these are the places where the mind is telling itself the truth, and these are the places where it's lying to itself. Because the mind plays a lot of make-believe. That's a lot of what our perceptions are. And John Sowat talked about this. He says the mind comes to these agreements that this should mean this and that should mean that. It's just like little kids saying, okay, I'll be the doctor, you be the patient. Or I'll be the cowboy, you be the Indian. And a lot of it is lies. So you have to watch out for that. And this is the best place to see through those lies, right here at the present moment. So get anchored here. You get anchored here with a sense of well-being, so you're not so likely to want to wander off. This is home base. This is where you belong. If you have that attitude, then you won't be so quick to jump into whatever thought comes by. Because they're like airplanes. They fly by and then they drop you off someplace. The kind of really bad airlines where they don't land properly. They just push you out. So you want to see what are the processes by which the mind gets into a flight like that. What is this parachute for getting out? You learn this by watching right here. And the more steadily you stay here, the more you're going to see.